All in line, we are ready for a start. They're off in the Las Vegas Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile, and it is Gato Del Oro who comes out of there. Outside of Sharp Azteca, and more spirit will be third behind them as they race for that first turn. Battle of Midway caught wide into the turn as Iron Fist saves all the ground alongside a fellow Gray Cupid. In behind them, Accelerate goes up on the outside of Awesome Slew, who's down at the rail. Practical Joke has been guided to the inside to save all the ground here. He's eight lengths off the lead and four lengths clear of Giant Expectations at the back of the pack. So they race on to the back stretch where Sharp Azteca is the leader. The first quarter mile was 22.94 seconds. And Gato Del Oro is pressing the pace on the outside. More Spirit lays just off the top two and sits third on the back stretch. And then it's Iron Fist on the inside. Battle of Midway has been outside of horses throughout so far. Then Cupid and Awesome slew who are four from the front and just clear of Accelerate and Practical Joke. The trailer is Giant Expectations. The half mile was 46.95 seconds. Sharp Azteca and Paco Lopez have a neck in front of Gato Del Oro as they make their way around the far turn. Battle of Midway now moves up on the outside and suddenly more spirit is back running and forth and Mike Smith is starting to ask him to go. Doesn't look like he's going to do it. Then it's Awesome Slew on the inside as they make their way to the top of the stretch. Sharp Azteca will turn for home in front. Battle of Midway runs up. Big one on the outside and now takes the lead as they turn for home. Battle of Midway, Sharp Azteca fights on from the inside. The two of them come to the final 16th together. Awesome Slew is third. Practical Joke is fourth. Battle of Midway, Sharp Azteca coming down to the line together. Battle of Midway has defeated Sharp Azteca in the dirt mile. And then it was Awesome Slew and Practical Joke. More spirit ended up near the back of the field. And the final time was 1 minute 34. 5.20 seconds. And to present the trophy to very jubilant connections, I'm sure Amy Riley, the senior director of sales for the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority. Amy. Hey, congratulations on behalf of Las Vegas on an incredible race. Kenny Trout of Windstar Farm, you purchased along with Don Alberto's stable Battle of Midway two weeks prior to the Kentucky Derby. What did you see in this young three year old knowing that he could do what he just did this afternoon? Well, one of the main reasons why we bought the horse because we didn't have any of ours in. So, <laughs> but uh, we really liked it. Elliot Walden is the one that picked him out. And uh, we really liked the horse and thought we had a great shot. And he ran big, he ran third. So that was great, great feeling. And talk to me about the stretch run here, Battle of Midway. He lived up to this name, really throwing down today. Yes, I mean, it, it was, uh, my heart was just pounding. I mean, my whole group, everybody was just screaming, you know, come on, hold on, hold on, battle it out. And I tell you what, he's, he's been that way. He's been a fighter, and he, fight, and he fought on. I mean, he just, he was run wide all the way. Most of the way to come on, and he just fought it out. He's, he's a horse. He's a race horse now. That he is, and he proved it this afternoon. Congratulations to you all. Battle of Midway taking down the Las Vegas Dirt Mile. They're cool, calm, and collected right now, but I'm sure that's not what it was like during the stretch run.